In this video, I'm going to show you how you can recreate this stacked donut chart for a report that I made for the Maven Analytics Challenge. We're going to look at how you can do this natively without using any custom visuals at all. And I'm going to show you how you can do all of this using simple DAX tricks and conditional formatting to make it look nice and sleek. All of that and more. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi, my name is Ferran and welcome to the Solutions Abroad YouTube channel where we cover tips tricks and best practices when working with Power BI. I upload new videos every week, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when a new one is out. So to start with, let me show you the original report that I built for the Maven Analytics Challenge. So it's a one-pager report analyzing the parental leave that parents have across different industries, the type of parents that they have, maternity paternity and across different industries and if it's paid and unpaid. The centerpiece that I'm using here is something that we call a dynamic radial bar chart and it's a custom visual with a really good way to visualize the sort of top 10 best industries and how the sort of parental leaves compare against each other. And when I posted this at the time there were a few comments that mentioned the fact that while this custom visual was good to visualize and is a nice touch you can't really Really use it in settings where the tenants are pretty strict with using custom visuals and this visual isn't certified so they couldn't use it. So with this in mind the thought of so what kind of alternatives you could have to using or doing this visual without using any custom visuals. And it turns out that you can do that simply using the native donut charts. So let me show you how you can do that. So let's start with this empty report that I have here. I just have uh, two tables here. The main one is the leave table. And the leave table is essentially just a a cut down version of the leave report that I have uh, that I used for the Maven analytics. So it has the industry, the paternity or maternity, the, the parent type leave and the number of weeks that there are for, for those. I also have a calculations measure table, which we'll use to store our measures. And um, what we'll use, what we'll do is we'll create a, v a few measures to we can for, for, for us to use as part of the donut charts. So we're gonna go back to the, the report here, and I'm gonna bring these in as tables so we can see them as we build the, the charts themselves. I'm going to put them as a table on the right hand, left hand side here. And actually one thing that I want to do before we start is to add a slicer filter so that we are able to switch between maternity and paternity leaves. So slicer settings, make it as a tile. So that way we can kind of swap between the two because this is actually what we are doing. Like we're trying to replicate the, um, the Maven analytics challenge, right? So now I'm going to just unhide the calculations table and then we're going to start creating our measures. So the first thing or the, the first measure that we'll create is something what we call the target. So the target um, would be the non-filled in parts of the, the radial chart. So if you look at the colored parts here, so this is what we, what we would already have normally. And then the target would be the value, the difference between how far that get, got to. So if it's 20, 22, all the way to the very end here, which we can deem to be 33 at the moment. So just so that we have some space there. So I'm going to say target is equals to 33 minus max of the weeks. And that should give us the ability to start creating the donut chart even though it's not sort of finished yet. So we're going to bring in the weeks here. Instead of sum, we should use max. And then the target would be at the like over there. So now, as you can see, we have the filled in version here, the light blue. And then the dark blue, we will swap to be a sort of darker shade to show that it's the non-filled in part of the radial bar chart. The last part that we're going to add is the invisible part of the donut chart. So as you noticed already, it's only a part of the radial chart that is actually filled in. The last quarter of this chart is empty, or at least it's hidden so that it will give us some space to add the labels for each of those, uh, for, for each of those 
donut charts. So we're going to have to just calculate that part to make sure that it's always hidden. And for that, it's actually pretty simple. We can just create a new measure right here. And we're going to just name this one hidden. And then for this one, we're going to say max of weeks plus target. That will just give us the total radius at the moment. And then we're going to multiply it by a third, which will give us the correct space that we will need for that hidden part of the donut chart. So now that that's done, let's just simply add it here in our value. So you can see now it's the kind of the orange part. So I think we have done all of the setup that we need for our calculations. So now let's start by actually formatting this to make it look like the visual that we have for the custom visual. So let's start by adjusting some of the stuff here. So removing the legend, for example, removing the data label since we don't need that. We're going to change the slices to change the color slightly. So we're going to use a dark shade of blue for the filled in part. And then we're going to use a gray like this, maybe just slightly. Yeah. Or maybe that's too bright, something like this. And then the hidden parts, we will just simply use the same color as the background. So it will look like it's sort of not there, right? So as you can see, as I change maternity to paternity, that also updates. I haven't added it yet, but we will add a filter to the industry. So let's do that now. So if you change that to finance, for example, or maybe just philanthropy. Oh, no, I put it in the wrong place, of course. So philanthropy or technology or finance, that sort of that filled in part changes. So, and obviously it changes based on if it's maternity or paternity, which is exactly what we wanted. Okay, just confusing myself now. So anyway, we're gonna adjust that later. For now, what we're going to do is we're going to change the inner radius, the spacing here to be a lot smaller. So I think 80 is, good, is a good size. And uh, let's say this is for the philanthropy industry, right? So we're gonna change the filter to be a philanthropy. And then what you can do from here is copy and paste. We'll change the styling, make sure the background is transparent. We'll change the color of the slicing. Let's make it like this. And then have I changed the filter? Yep, I'll change the filter into technology. And then now it's just a simple matter of resizing it and then putting it inside the radius of the first one. Give them a bit more space. There we go. And then you just simply keep doing that until you have covered all of the industries that you want to cover. So technology, we'll just change it to finance. And then the color, we'll change it to something else as well. Change it to a yellow. And then simply just make it smaller. And there you have it. So you, the last bit is obviously just to add those labels. Um, you might need to play around with the radius or, or, or the size of the, the bar charts to make them look even. But the last thing that you can add is to add the labels here next to the bar charts so that your users know what they pertain to. And uh, as you can see, as you update and choose different parent type, paternity or maternity, you will get that visual almost similar to the custom visual that I'm using for the challenge. And that's really it for this video. I hope you now know how easy it is to create something like these stack donut charts without using any custom visuals in Power BI. Thanks for watching as usual. Give this video a like if you found it useful. Give it a dislike if you didn't so I have to do better for next time. Ask your questions in the comment section box below so I can help you and you can help others. If you really like this video, we have a Patreon page where you can support the channel and get exclusive perks like early access, demo files, and credits at the end of these videos. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.